Hi, everyone, and welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're covering uh, the latest stories, trends, innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Barb Mitchell. I'm here on the final day of ITW. How's your voice holding out? Just. I think just. Just, yeah, <laughs> just, just. a little bit yeah. left. Uh, I'm pleased to be joined by Nicholas Collins, who's the Chief Commercial Officer of EXA Infrastructure. Welcome. Happy Thank you, to Bob. Have you. Yeah, great. Thanks yeah. for having me. It's really great to be talking to you. Yeah. And so we've already covered that you've, you've made it through the week. Um, how's the week been, though, so far for you? Yeah, look, I think it's I think it's great. Look, I think what this industry does very well is when they come together at these events. And it's the collaboration that you see. And there's, there's a real optimism, I think, this year as well. Yeah. I think there's a real buzz. And I think people are looking for a little lift. Um, and I think there's nothing better than coming in and spending time with you know, your customers, your partners, your collaborators yeah. in the industry, right? It's, it's a special time. Yeah. And now you've traveled across the water, I believe, yes. to be here. Tell yes. us about X Infrastructure, where you're based and, and what you, your focus yeah, is. Yeah, absolutely. Look, um, X Infrastructure, we're a digital infrastructure uh, business. Uh, we operate pan-European, transatlantic, and into North America. So okay. we are very laser focused on digital infrastructure. Uh, and how we serve the needs of customers who are looking for high bandwidth across those markets. We are the largest digital infrastructure operator across Europe. We have about 150,000 miles of network. It traverses 34 countries. Uh, so it's quite a broad network um, and we continue to invest um, because if there's anything you take away from events like this is that demand is just continuing to, to grow. Yeah, and grow indeed, right? You have some recent investments. I, I would hope I would love you to tell us a little sure. bit more about in the in transatlantic connectivity. Yeah, look, I think one of the areas we focus on is connecting Europe to North America, and, and key to that is the transatlantic connectivity. X has been in that space since the early two thousands. Uh, we've had some uh, subsea uh, uh, routes between North America and Europe uh, for quite some time. But I think as we continue to see the surge in demand of traffic, and we're sort of talking 30% year-on-year growth on Trans Atlantic, driven by content, uh, social media, video, um, that requires more infrastructure to support this ongoing demand. So over the last few months, we've in made three additional uh, investments in three new routes. So we now have six routes uh, between North America and Europe. And what's really important about our strategy here is listening to customers because traditionally a lot of the transatlantic routes were terminating in Ireland or in the United Kingdom. Yeah. But increasingly now, customers are saying, we'd like to have a bit more diversity. So US to France, US into places like uh, Spain and Portugal. Um, so having more options in the market is, is really important on this route too. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly been something that's I've been hearing about all week and and really all year, uh, just this, you know, the, the growing demand um, and how infrastructure uh, needs to really build out to keep up with that demand for capacity and all, all of those. Well, I think it's, it's what growth is, right? I mean, yeah. the reality is digital interest, infrastructure fuels economic growth. I think everybody can see that, everybody recognizes that. Um, and I think the demands we're seeing, not just in Europe or into North America, but it's probably consistently across the world because yeah. the data corridors are really important as well, right? So traffic coming from Asia to Europe that traverses through the Middle East, traffic from Asia, uh, some from Africa coming up into Europe as well. The world is so connected and clearly, as we know, that you yeah. know, the subsea infrastructure is, is a really important part of that. So as you, I mean, obviously you're talking, touching on a, a few ways that you're, you, you know, really focused on keeping up with this, but how important are partnerships to yeah. enabling this, this growth? And yeah, it's a great question, Bob. Like, and, and partnerships um, is such an important part of this industry. Um, and I think for us, as we look to expand our network and serve customers into new markets, uh, it does involve us going into new markets. And that means that forging relationships with local operators, whether it's infrastructure operators, other service providers, it could be the data center operators in those markets. Um, you can't do this alone. Right. And the way that you build those relationships and you work together about how you can grow together, I think is a really important part of, of our strategy. Um, and, uh, and what is really a key component of our success is putting out those local relationships, particularly as you go into some more nascent markets. Um, and I think this industry does well in this area. Um, 
and it's an area where we're going to have to continue to invest. And then one example would be on transatlantic. We have one route called Hufru, uh, which takes you from uh, North America up into the northern parts of Europe. We have a great partnership with Bulk Infrastructure, who operate our infrastructure. Um, and it's a way that we can work together to try and serve customer needs um, and do it in a way where we can both uh, take the benefits from that as well. Yeah. I, I often think of ITW, especially, you know, where this hits in just sort of the calendar. It's kind of our mid midway mark, right? So when you start to think about what you've already accomplished over the year and what you're really focused on for the rest of 2024, what kind of jumps yeah. out? See, I look at ITW as like almost the start for the summer holidays. Oh, uh, so, so you get to be on a break for a little while? <laughs> so it's... Uh, <laughs> Okay. It, in a way, it's, 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 it takes stock, I think, of where you are at this point of the year. If we think yeah. about the calendar year, you come into these events and you sort of talking about what your plans are for the next six months. So it gives you that clarity. Right. And, and, you know, when you're a, a major operator like us, you need to have clarity. And we, we talk to people about where our investment plans are. We want to talk to our customers about what their plans are because it informs us for where we go for the rest of this year. But also as we start putting our budgets and our plannings for next year, it starts giving us the right insight to, to how we prioritize our investments uh, yeah. for the next uh, year or two as well. Yeah, and I mean, as you said, as we were just sort of starting our conversation here, just, that's one of the great things about this particular conference, you know, just all the great connections and conversations you're able to have with people. It's, this industry is connections. Right. Uh, yeah. And I think we are unique as an industry about how that that actually yeah. plays out and uh and i think you can feel it right as you walk around this event uh people connecting whether they're reconnecting because they known each other for some while ago but i think it's it's powerful and i think you know this industry as a turning point as we sort of come together now to serve the requirements of ai uh, fuel growth you know it means we have to think differently and we have to collaborate differently as well yeah it's been so nice chatting with you i really appreciate it you You've made it through uh, the, yeah. the week, and uh, you know. I'm looking it. forward to a nap on the way home now. Yeah, I think that's, you'll, that's, you'll that's have for a, sure. a long flight home to do. Yeah, that, right? I look forward to that. So we have a we have a book. I already told you that might might help you uh, fill a few hours. And it's a great topic. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, thank you to our viewers for tuning in today to JSA TV and JSA Live. Stay tuned as we continue to bring you insights from leaders across our industry. Until next time.